everybody thanks for stopping in my name is Anna and welcome to my channel today I have a Tuesday morning haul for you so I did go in Sunday to see if they had any of the items they had in the ad and I was able to find some EK tool punches and I found um, some edge punches and I thought these were really cute um, this one is $4.99 and um, usually have trouble with it focusing on the SKU number, so I don't know if that's going to focus, but um, I thought that was really cute how they layered the different colors for the edge punch. Um, I also found this birthday one. Oh, this is not the birthday one. This is the lace one. Edge punch. And... There's the SKU number for that one. And if it's not focusing and you want any of the numbers, just leave it in the comments below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. This one is the birthday one. And it does cakes and presents. And that's the first time that I've seen anything like that. And I thought it was really cute. And here it shows you. The cake and the present. And there's a SKU number on that one. And I got this one as well. It's the heart one. And it punches out all those different sizes. And there's a SKU number for that one. And I don't know why it doesn't focus, but I don't think it's focusing. And then, um, I found some Bow Bunny stamps. So I got the postal one. And that one. Just for that one. I thought that one was really cute. And this one's been out for a while, but I couldn't ever find it. And I think the one time that I did see it, I ended up not getting it. But I love how it has the little hearts and the little lines here in the like the doily type and then this one with all the stitch stamps and then it has the little buttons are cute and the hearts and tiny stars and then the doilies sorry for any glare that you're getting and then for Easter I found these and it's these were $1.99. Sorry about the glare. Little bunnies. And it's just a bunch of different little bunnies. Looks like it might, the colors might be a little bit like a more of a whitish, a pinkish, and maybe a purple. It's hard to tell. And then the glittery bunny cutouts. And then little egg cutouts. And this was... Mostly from, yeah, this was from one store on Sunday. And then for the Cutter B dye templates, I found this little box. And I've seen other people haul this before. And I have seen other larger ones, like this size templates or die cuts, um, that I haven't seen in any of my stores. But I thought that was cute, so I picked this one up. And then this one I haven't seen. I or don't think I've seen anybody else haul. But I found this one. And I punched out. I went ahead and cut out some of these. Because it looked like um, they lift up. And they do. So when you punch out like this one here. These little flowers. So if you want like a dimensional on your cards or something. Little... Um, embellishments you can lift up the flowers so I thought that was really cute and put a little stone in there or layer the flowers then this one is a smaller one here and the little petals lift up as well See there. and then two of the leaves the smaller one and the larger one does the same so you have a little dimension that you can put for your embellishments and this one raises also so I was curious to see make sure it didn't cut out all the way 
but it gives you a little bit to mention. So um, this was from Sunday, and during the week or the weekend before, I had uh, gone out of town, and I found some other ones. Um, from, this is from two different stores, one from within my area and then one from out of town. Um, so I found these Cutter B dies, and I got the the birthday one. And the tag. I love these because they're, they're pink dyes. Even though for my craft room, I do like this color teal. But I just think that the dyes are cute because they're pink. <laughs> and then the banner. And the stars. And the frame one. It's cute. And then this one. And I thought this one, the small one or the, the two smaller ones, would be cute as balloons also. Where's that party one? This one, they got the balloon animal. But if you cut these out and then maybe do a little thread or ribbon, and you can use these as balloons to coordinate with this one, I thought would be cute. That was one idea that I thought of. So there's that, and then the Cutter B embossing folder. This is the only one I was able to find, and this one says, Happy Birthday, Congrats, Thank You. So I got a little birthday thing going on there with those. Then I found these from Firefly, the cupcake with the stamps. Uh, I've seen a lot of people haul these, the unicorn. And the mason jar. I love how it has a tiny little tag on there. So cute. And it says thanks for everything. And the butterfly. Okay. And then from Crafter's Companion. I found a couple things. Um, it's a layering stamp and die. And these also. The petals raise up. They don't cut out completely. So you'll layer that together. And then they made these really pretty cards with them. There and there. So I thought that was really cute. And then I got the both sizes of rock blocks. It seems like a lot, but um, this one has four pieces. And those are your sizes. And then the larger set... Um, with these two sizes so hopefully these work out because I'm afraid that when you go when well for me when I go to rock it that I could keep it well let me get a frame here that I could keep it steady and go back and forth and not like slide <laughs> and move it because then it's not going to work out that great if my hand slides and I smear the stamp so we'll test it out and see. Hopefully I can keep my hands steady enough for that. I can show you the two, well, the four sizes of the other one. Let's see. So this one. I think that's cute that it has a tiny little box and it's just a it's just an empty box, but it's just to <laughs> fill in the space. I was like, oh, I might try to copy that and cut some tiny boxes out. So you have this one, which is the one and a half by one and a half. Little rock block there. This one is a three by four. This one is good for the long word sentiments. One and three eighths by six. And then this one is your four by six. So with the new stamps I got, the large like the um, cherry blossom and stuff that'll work out good to have these. So that is that one. Oops, get in there. And then look, my tiny ones will fit on there, the little tiny tag. Not that you couldn't use a bigger one, but I have the little blocks from Dollar Tree. Those will fit on also. Okay. 
And then let me clear some of this and I'll be right back. Okay, so um was also able to find some bow bunny collections. Um so they had this thing, it's called Land of Wonder. And these are the layered chipboard pieces. And yes, it's like Alice in Wonderland. I think it's so cute. And you got your teacups here, this way, that way, keys. So there's that one. And then, well, I have one of the chipboard pieces and uh, one of the brads. It's all coordinating. And even the background picture, like if you're able to cut around, maybe you won't have too many holes or fill in the holes. It's cute. Also, the rose with the spoon. So I got that. And then I found two of the embellishments. Um, this has little banners and tags on it. And this shows everything that comes in there. It's a little blocked by the words, but geese, butterflies, the teacups, roses. And um, Tim Holtz had a little pack of black and red roses or red roses. I wish I would have gotten because it would have gone really cute with this as embellishments because there's a lot of roses. Um, so I'm going to keep an eye out and see if I see any more of those, but I haven't seen them in a while. And then I found the matching 6x6. Six six. Um, we'll do a quick flip on this one. You got your teacups and spoons. And then your diamond checkerboard thing blue page here's the roses again and it has a little spot there um i haven't been able to find the 12 by 12 but i hope they have it and i haven't seen anybody haul the 12 by 12 i don't think it's a cute page i like the blue and got butterflies there's a little tiny crown on there you can see that and then roses again black and white stripe the red with hearts there's tiny hearts on there then you got a black and gray page, and then it repeats yeah, back to the teacups. So that is the Alice in Wonderland-ish thing. And I was able to find, I found a garden party collection, and I thought this one was really cute. I love this page with like lantern hanging mason jars with roses. I thought that one was really pretty. And you got your like cactus. This looks like a garden party, like lights outside. A black and white page. See the pattern. I don't know if it's hard to see. And then this is almost like a washi strip page. It has like the different pages and the lines. See the flowers and stuff on there. And another a green and white page with pattern. And green with leaves. And then here's a bunch of different cactus and pots and stuff, planters, some more green. So the marble page. And this one, I think it's like the other page, but it's, yeah. So you got the green one, and then this is like a beige, almost lavender. And this one's cute with the chandeliers. And then the roses and the cactus. And then the repeats. And I really like this page. I was able to find this in the 12 by 12 on this one. So I'm on the hunt for the 12 by 12 in the Land of Wonder. And so the 12 by 12, you know, some of the pages are different because they have the cut apart. And I'm going to show this sideways just because I have a little bit more space. So there's the big ones. And then with these, you can even, since you get more than one page, you can even um, cut them out for ephemera. I thought that would be cute. The roses here. This is like bubbles or I guess like the lights. Like the reflection kind of looks like. Then here's your cut apart. Let's see a little off frame here. There we go. See all of them there. There's a chandelier in a frame. Happily ever after. And then you got the little lights in the background. 
I have found the one whom my soul loves. That's cute. And then here's for like journaling. Love is in the air. With the I think the chandelier is very pretty. I don't, I, didn't, I don't think I found ephemera on there, but I bet it'll be cute with the chandeliers if they have them in there. And then here's a cactus page. Here's a larger page of lights. There's that black and white pattern. And then, like I said, that washi strip looking page, which is just lines and then the green one this page is pretty i don't think this one was in the smaller one with the roses and again you can cut them out for ephemera also then here's the black and white and it'll be it's a brick wall and it'll be cute to do like the cut apart or um cut the pages out with the ephemera and use the brick as a backdrop background and layer on top of that and this is a cut apart page but it's not perforated or anything and I just thought it was different because it's not your normal square cutouts like you have to do some fussy cutting on this one so I thought that was really cute um see how they have it here then you can cut out the individual ones also no chandelier on this one though and this page is cute Then the green. And then your potted cactus. My ribbon is getting in frame here. Sorry, it's coming undone. And then this one. And the marble again. What page do we start with? The lanterns. So did I skip that one? Oh. There's still more different ones. Then you have this one with the wood and the roses. That's pretty. And if you don't use this whole page, you can always fussy cut the roses out. Maybe use this for something. Make a card background out of that one. Come and fussy cut the roses and get them more framed there. And you have a green page here. And then the beige one looks like the green. Look, even this part's cute. You could use that. It's got the little, what are those called? Those roses. And there's the other full page of the other one. Like I guess the next page will be the chandeliers. Black and white chandeliers. And then this page. And then here's the squares with the roses and the cactus and the chandeliers. This one was in the six by six. Then you got the wood background. And then back to the mason jars. Then it should just repeat again. I don't see anything different. So yeah, it repeats. So I thought that one was really cute. And no, I didn't find any ephemera for this one, so I'll be on the lookout for that. The other 12 by 12, I did find the Cottontail Collection, which this is really cute. This one, all I found was the ephemera. I didn't find like the chipboard pieces or the brads, so... And then I noticed these were $1.99. And the price is starting to go up on these as well. They went up a whole dollar. Like I noticed some of this stuff went from like 99 cents to $1.19. So it was like 20 cents higher. But these bags are actually coming out a dollar more. So I used to be like, oh, it's only $1.99. Sure, let me get, you know, two. I always try to get double so I have extra. But now, the paying a whole dollar extra kind of went up a little too much on those. So here's all the little cute bunnies and Easter eggs that come in these. There's a little banner one, a little fence that's cute. The flowers with the banner there. Sorry about the glare. Hopefully you can see all that. So, and then look at this. That has honey. You are so sweet, honey. I didn't notice that one on the back. Oh yeah, it's up there with the tags. So that is that. And then, I don't know if anybody's shown this one, but 
I'll show it. And Easter egg page, maybe Easter lilies on that. That's a cute pink page, orange. Your cut apart is larger cut apart, so that's cute. There's a banner like in the um, ephemera pack. And then more Easter eggs. This is just the eggs. And then polka dots. And a green background page. Here's some cut apart. Look at all the pretty bouquets or flower arrangements. And then your tags. They got that one in the ephemera pack. Easter lilies. The fence is really cute. That'll be cute on the card. And all these pretty flowers. It's a pretty page. This page, you got some flowers here in the corner. And you got your Easter bunny. Then here's another bunny with his egg with the yellow. This is really cute. The dots are purple and green. And polka dots. You can even, um, with your circle punch, just go over the different circles here and use them for making your own um, ephemera. And then this is a cute page, black and white. And then you got the sage one. There's some stripe one. I'm trying to hurry because the video is getting long and I didn't want it to be too long. Um, loving Easter greetings. And then all oh, flowers. Here's some more cut aparts. And I love this how it has date do like your library card. And it actually has date punches on there. And then you got your bunnies. Loving Easter greetings. The little girl with the bunny. This is cute. And then the fence with the um, flowers on there. That's really cute. Or wood planks. And you got your blue with polka dots. And then this is a nice Easter pastel print. And then this one, shovel, happy days. And then it has pots, happy seas, bunny, hop, and spring, raining. These pages are really cute with the diamonds and the polka dots. Or the plaid, or that plaid. Then they have your flowers. Tulips, Dahlia, Deb Hulk likes Dahlias. They don't have no corn flowers on here for corn. Another fellow YouTuber. Those are pretty. Then your green background there. And then I think we're back to the beginning. Yep, there we go. And then the only um, other thing I got, I got. Two more packs of ephemera um, from Bow Bunny. Again with the, well this one was $1.99. This one is Petal Lane. And I liked because it had the pink and the black. It has a cute little banner. It has a bicycle. A lot of pretty spring flowers and spring colors. And there's another um, thing with the bicycle. You see all the little pieces in there. And I don't think I've found Petal Lane in either of the paper pad sizes. And then I got this one. So this one was $1.99 and this one is $2.99. And it's just black and white and black, white, black, red, black, and pink are my favorite colors. So if it has black in it, I, of course, you know, it's like I had to get this one. I like the little flowers here. But that is it. Um, if you stayed this long, I thank you. Appreciate you. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I know it's been a little while. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And I will see you in the next one. Thank y'all.